so that would be the schematic as I said before it's super super easy to build um, the what if board that I have is uh, yeah, mostly for testing that's why it has all these extra bits and pieces on it um, it's just so so simple it's just a matter of connecting it in the way that's shown here if you just want to run it as a light you know it'll be very efficient very cheap light you only buy really one or two of these transistors um, yeah, they're they're just um, they're quite robust in in the sense that they will handle quite a lot that this circuit can throw at it, and it really only becomes a problem if you're doing what I'm doing, which is testing. So if you just want to run it as a light, uh, you'll have very minimal costs um, to cover. If you want to do what I do and test to see what it's capable of. Um, well, buy 50 because you'll end up with um, a whole heap of them. Uh, okay, so let's go uh, follow this line down to uh, the right. Obviously, uh, avoiding revealing where I live okay so here we have light plugged into the ground uh, basically as I showed you before I have the three wires that are twisted together very very crudely twisted two of those wires together so they are connected and, and that's just in essence to prove that it is only single wire transmission there is only one wire going in the back of the light that's been out here for maybe maybe a year and a half maybe two years now so it's got some bugs living in the back of it and, um, I have seen it running um, with water in it, full of water, um, which made me question um, its ability to uh, go through water without um, shorting the circuit, which I tested later. It, it, it does do that. Uh, I believe that's just frequency issue. It's not the right frequency to enter the water. So I'll prove that it's um, it's coming through the ground. If uh, I pick this out of the ground, you can see it, it literally goes out. So and and it only takes um, a very mild connection, and you can see frequency starts up and it tries to tries to make contact with the um, signal that's being sent through the ground like 60 meters away so I believe if I wrap my hand around that I can sort of act as an earth and so if we put that on my boot so it doesn't insulate uh, so it's insulated I take my hand off from around the bulb it'll go out Put my hand around it, it, it tries to come on. You can see that there. But you know, when it's plugged into the ground, I mean, this is just this single wire goes, goes um, into the light, back out, down the side, clamped on with a cable clip that. Uh, a hose clamp that's uh, showing signs of legitimately being out here for over a year. So if we plug that back in the ground, that will start working. And 
Mm, it appears to uh, now be flashing. So again, that's a frequency. If I was to tip some water into that, or to find... <clears throat> find an area that has more water in the ground and we might avoid that flashing if not that that will be controlled yeah that seems to be taken care of so that can either be controlled by tipping a couple of liters of water around the electrodes both ends so you know the ones that are 